Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can easily use Breezy HR. So when you're going to come here to Breezy HR, I'll go to the top right and click start my free trial. Here I'll just easily add my full name, company name and I will also add my email here. password and I agree get started for free okay like this get started for free almost done now I will just look my for my email address and verify email. So here we go. I will just let wait for a while until it loads and then we will start. So in a moment when you're here, uh, you can go customer success teams. Since you're new here, I just want to take a moment and share a few quick tips. Okay. We will get first to the settings. Positions, okay. And candidates. Okay, so the first thing that I recommend also to do is next to the notifications, you can have the settings menu. Here, you can simply uh, find your account and then uh, your company. So you can simply open user settings and then company settings. Here, let's wait for a while. When you click on the company settings, you can edit the company name. Then you can have the users here. You can simply invite members. Then you would see permissions. Company roles here. You can simply add a new company role. That's you can do. Teams. Again, add a team. And billing. So this is what you would find under company settings. Now, when you're here on a breezy HR, you, when you're going to click on a home, you would see that you can simply add a position, invite your team and intro video. So you can simply click here, add a position. And now, okay, other important details about your role, such as position type, title type, department, location, we can go retail worker, whatever department can be, oh, let's say designer, marketing, country, United States, or we can go even Slovakia, or you can have like remote if you want to, then you're going to see the details here. So you need to always choose if it's going to be full time, part time, I'm going to zoom in more contract temporary or other let's say it's going to be full time and now we can like choose the category here if it's going to be marketing pr design i'm going to choose a design because it's a designer but it's working in the marketing department education doctorate professional unspecified experience let's say entry level you can simply add a tax here also. You can also choose like which experience you are demand. Now add a tag. So I can add designer and save. Okay. So then other information, you can also add different information. Use this section to store sensitive information. It will only be visible to hiring managers on this position. Next step. Then you're going to see description. And now here, uh, you're going to see like job description here and you can simply choose on the top right some option here. So I can find a job description. I'm going to see the designer here. So I can have the UI, the user interface, user experience, web designer or graphic designer. So let's say that I would choose graphic designer here. Bang. And you see that you got a really good template that you can use and it's pretty effective to use it. So your duties will include participation in variety of products. 
and you can read that you can edit it as much as you want so let's say this is our position description i definitely recommend also using the button on top right preview that you can preview it how it's going to look like but first we need to finish it so uh that's pretty much it click next step applications form choose how candidates can operate its position accept applications from your public career site and your third party boards you can have like internal only uh, if you can have like your own employee portal unlisted and they need to have like this link here to actually get to the position but i would have like enabled next step you're gonna see also that application form here choose what information to collect from candidates who apply through your career site or employee portal so you're gonna see right here personal information as name required then email address you're gonna see the phone number you can have like disabled or required or optional experience resume upload experience summary again optional you can you can also add a questionnaire here so when i'm going to click right here i can add a question here so how long have you been working on similar position and now i would add question questionnaire you can add more sections here multiple choice and now how long have you been working in similar position one to five three to five five plus and then you can also change the response type here save changes and save changes here this is the questionnaire that we would have next step then we have the pipeline the pipeline defines the stages you will use to organize and manage candidates for this position so you can have like default pipeline here you can customize automated stage actions so applied feedback in the made offer disqualified hired so this is the process that we have you can edit the pipeline if you want to in the future now click next step and now score cards define custom criteria your hiring team will use to evaluate candidates and you can add simple scorecard here so again scorecard name new scorecard personality and we can go like one wait a second section name one two three four five and then save so changes so this will be like for the team and let's say the five would be the best next step advertise make sure your position gets in front of the best candidates promote in the right places so you can also add a premium advertising with dribble work and travel jobs indeed or linkedin you can also uh, use position appear on indeed glassdoor google jobs way up etc and click next step and when you're going to be right here uh, you're going to see the manage your hiring team you can add the team members here if you want to who are going to take care if uh, someone should hire or no activate the position or save as a draft and voila here we got it so when you come here to breezy hr uh, after home you can click on inbox or you have like conversation tasks you can simply add a tasks like let's click plus here let me just wait until you come here so under inbox are tasks tasks assigned to me tasks i've assigned i can simply click plus here 
task name and this is going to be uh let's say create a new position create a task and this is for me we need to choose like who is going to solve this create a task and the date tomorrow create a task voila here we have it so this is the upcoming that i need to solve and this is how the tasks works under that we're gonna have the calendar on the calendar I will see everything, reports, like you see that we got us the position views here, talent search, and then here you can like search for talent, position and pools. This is the, uh, I can add a pool or position, we just added a position, I can add a pool name. If you want to, that's something you can do too, and then we would have the candidates here. And from the candidates, you, then you can like choose someone. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. Let me down below in the comments if you want to find also tutorials and how to create it for pools. You can use also the filtering options on the left. So that's a pretty easy and pretty straightforward. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you are going to have a great day and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.